Hi, I'm Chris from Code Review, and in this video, we're going to be looking at Doctrine Fixtures Bundle. So, Doctrine Fixtures are a concept of, of being able to pre populate our database with some known values. And the reason that you would probably want to do this is, well, in pretty much every development project, you're going to uh, be interacting with the database in some form or other. And it's good when you're in development to have a consistent known database starting point. So that is to say that your tables would be populated or pre-populated with data that you're expecting rather than every time you make a few changes uh, to the database, perhaps running through um, adding and removing data whenever you delete all that data it's a pain if you've got to then re-add it manually so if you've got a command that you can just run and it generates that data for you straight off um, it's a massive time saver I use it in every project honestly so um, from the symphony page go to documentation then bundles then doctrine fixtures bundle and we're just going to uh, copy that out and also you could you could grab it from packagist so just in case on the off chance that you've got the uh, you, you suspect that this might be an out of date version then grab it from Packagist uh, stick it into your composer.json I've already done so and then also you need to do a composer update which I've already done just ahead of time just to keep things quick so that's going to go off and uh, download our dependency then we need to enable the bundle so copy that bit out go across to our app kernel and I've already done that as well just uh, just so that we're set up and ready to go so I'm just going to close those down as we no longer need them now the main thing is when writing uh, fixtures is that you pretty much just use the objects that you've already created so use the entities that you've already created fill them in uh, as you would kind of do if you was just creating the object wherever in your application and then we tell the um, we tell Doctrine to, to save it, or as it says here, persist, and then we tell it to, to flush that record, that newly created record, off to our database. And that's pretty much it. You just repeat this as many times as required to generate um, bits and pieces in your, your application. So whilst the concept is, is really straightforward, um, it's good to see it in practice, so that's what we're going to do next. The, the main thing is I need to uh, generate up a, a new bundle, which I'm going to do so now and then I'm going to create an entity in there which we can then use for our fixture generation. So that's the configuration of my uh, new bundle. I just called it Code Review Doctrine Fixtures Example Bundle. Gone ahead and generated the full directory structure in YAML and that's the bundle done. And I've also just created a very simple entity. So it's just called uh, Product and we've added in a name and a price field to, to that uh, entity so we can download that as well and then we should be good to go to create our fixtures okay so to create our fixtures uh, is pretty straightforward honestly it's pretty much a, a copy and paste exercise we've got the example already done for us on the symphony documentation so I'm just going to take this part of the namespace and create it for us for us in our bundle so like that and then I'm just going to create a new file in here and this file just has to follow the structure of load and then the entity name that we're doing our fixture for, in this case, product data. So load product data, if you had a different entity, say load fish data, load cat data, whatever. So I'll just stick that in there. We need our PHP tag. And then again, we can just pretty much copy and paste this. Just a few things to be aware of. Um, firstly, the namespace and secondly, the class name. And also we need to delete this This. Um, bit of stuff that they're doing because they're obviously newing up a user so let's just change this up um, to meet our requirements PHP Storm likes to have a little bit of a fit when I do this so just bear with me so I would do low, uh, namespace code review forward slash doctrine fixtures example bundle because that's the name of our bundle and then stick that back in there you can see that it's, it's having a, a bit of a fit get rid of that one so we don't need that one and then we've just got to make sure that this matches up load product data and then we can get rid of this bit as well because that's uh, relevant to theirs not ours okay and then normally after this um, what I would do is just copy and paste from this one and then you don't have to keep messing about with that bit uh, let's just try one thing before we close and open the file 
and that's that's that bit sorted out as well so the main thing is now we've got our empty fixture file um, but we need to populate it somehow and literally all we're doing is we, we want to create a, a new product so let's just split this horizontally so we can see it what we've got we've got uh, all we need to do is create our product with our name and our price so we're just going to do P equals new product you can be as descriptive as you want there but truthfully um, you're going to be typing yeah, this is quite a straightforward file so it doesn't need to be that verbose so this is the way I normally like to do it but of course you can call that whatever you like and then after that you would do so we don't need to do an ID obviously when we persist this off this is going to get an ID not that we've even got a setter for that but just so you're aware you don't need to to, to do anything like that everything so as you've used Doctrine before everything is the same uh, as though you was using it inside a, a proper full on Symfony application it's the same thing we're just doing this uh, for our for our own purposes I guess in the background um, we could do set name let's go first product why not first product and then either we can just chain it because we've got the um, return in there or we can do a a new product uh, sorry a new like that basically P set price price shouldn't be a string price should be a, a decimal why is it saying price is a string? Price should be a decimal, ah, whatever. It shouldn't be that, so we'll just say 20. And then we need to persist it. And then that's it, that's the fixture done. So normally you wouldn't have the flush immediately after because a flush is quite an expensive operation. Uh, what you would do is have many different ones. So like you could then do another fixture and again you can just reuse P because um, uh, it's best to put a little bit of space in here to keep things sane so you could have second product which would be 30 and because we've persisted that P off that product uh, that we can then new up a new one and do some different stuff and persist that one off and finally when it gets to the flush it will uh, go ahead and flush that off to the database so we can just clear that off we do uh, PHP app console doctrine fixtures load and um, this is just again another copy paste exercise from here execute the fixtures and the problem is I think this won't work because there's nothing we our database isn't created yet so oh it's created but there's, the, it's empty yeah that's what it's saying there uh, these tables don't exist so it's not going to actually create a schema for us so instead we need to doctrine database uh, schema create so that should be created for us and then we should be able to do the fixtures load looks good and then if we refresh this database refresh database looks like SQL Pro is having a, a bit of a Benny SQL example database come on you silly thing there we go and that's our that's our data loaded in now that's the that's doctrine fixtures at its most basic uh, you can see auto increments up to three to so the next product's going to be three etc so it's literally just as though you was doing this in from a controller or anything and it, it allows you to create um, database entries in a form that you know will be consistent every time you reload those fixtures and we can if we just clear this off a bit of a mess just in fact if we change something up let's just change this or so we'll change this one to 40 and we'll add a new record in because let's just say we've got a controller that can do this for us and that's 10 so we've got that in there and then we decide we actually want to come back to to basics and we just want to restart from from fresh we can say that reload that table and unfortunately our auto IDs are out of sync but that's a fixable problem and I will show you how to do that in the next video or a following video but the um, the the concept is basically we've got our database back to a known form 